Ollie, are you trying to get involved? Darcy, are you trying to get involved? Hey guys, so we've only been to New York twice, but we've already made it a tradition that every time we go, we have to go to the Nintendo store. So when we were in New, New so when we were in New York last week, we definitely paid a visit to the Nintendo store. In fact, we paid two visits for the Nintendo store. Because it was Pokemon's 20th anniversary, there was so much Pokemon stuff there, so much more than the last time we went. So we got loads of Pokemon but So we got loads of Pokemon goodies to take back with us to the UK. And also when we set up our new room. We're gonna put them all behind us so you guys can see them all in our new flower. So today I thought I would go through each individual thing we bought and show you guys our Pokemon haul. So guys, I'm back in our setup room. Let me show you everything that we got in the Nintendo store. First things first, of course we got some Pokemon cards. We got a few packs of these and some of the smaller booster packs. We had a lot more of these but I think Ali's opened quite a lot of these already. What's really cool about these packs is that they have a Lugia Break which looks awesome. They also have an Alakazam EX and a Mega Alakazam EX. We've opened a few as we've said but we've not got any of those cool cards yet. Hopefully we will do soon. We also got these totally neat little key rings. I got this one that reverses from a Eevee to a Jolteon. Obviously because Jolteon's my boy, he's my favourite Pokemon. And Ali got one that goes from a Blastoise to a Mega Blastoise. That's a super cool one as well. And then the final little thing we got isn't really Pokemon, but it's still pretty cool and I wanted to show you guys. It's a playing cards pack. It's all the levels from all the different Super Mario games. So it's really cool. It's really nice. And we just thought we'd bring it home with us. So if you ever play card games, we can at least look at cool Nintendo levels. So onto the clothes stuff we bought. It was really hard to get adult sizes in the Pokemon designs. It was okay for girl stuff. Wasn't okay for boys stuff at all. So what we ended up doing is buying like the youth XL, which is actually like works out as like a men's medium or something. So the t-shirt I got is this really cool Evolutions t-shirt. So it's got a little little Eevee here and then all the Evolutions across the top there. There's jolts looking pretty awesome. This is my Pokemon t-shirt. I will wear it in a video soon. And then Ali got two t-shirts. The first one he got is so cute and I really wanted this one in a girl's size, but they didn't have it. It's a Plusel and Minin one. How freaking cute is that? It's adorable. Little babies. But then he also got the coolest t-shirt of all. He got this Gengar versus Pikachu t-shirt. How awesome is that? Like, Gengar is like high-fiving or like fist-bumping Pikachu's tail. Like, they're total bros. And it's on the back too. How cool is that? That's probably the coolest t-shirt in the whole store. So next up is snapbacks. I got three snapbacks. He likes a snapback, as you probably can tell. We got this cool little Zelda snapback, which is actually Link all like pixelated, like he would be in the original like um, Game Boy games. And then a Mario snapback as well. They're both really nice. This one says Link at the back as well. But then obviously the coolest one of all is this Pokemon snapback, because look, it's got all the Pokemon on the back. This one is super, super cool. It's got like a little Pokeball on the front, it's got a Pokemon logo on the back, and then it's got this like collage of all the Pokemons, and it's underneath too. How cool is that? And I just found another Pokemon snapback. So this one has like a black... I want to call it a lid? Rim. Rim? Lid, rim, yeah. Look, a black... The hat bit, the, the eye covering bit is black, and it has a Pokemon logo underneath. And then at the top, it's got like the original generation starter. So it's got like Charmander, Squirtle, Bulbasaur, and Pikachu, obviously from red. Oh my god, why can't I remember colours? Red, blue, green, and yellow. So how cute is that? I think I'm going to be stealing some of these snapbacks, I'm not going to lie. No, you're not stealing any of them. I steal all of them. So then, before I show you guys the main event, the plushies, we got a lucky block as well. I actually just call these question marks, so it was Ali that told me they're called Lucky Blocks. This will definitely be going in the setup room when we move. So guys, it's time for the fleshies. So first of all, we will start with this little baby. This is Mew, and I was really hoping that they'd have a Mew plushie, because Mew is super, super cute. And also, not the first time I played Pokemon Red as a kid, but when I played it again as a teenager, I worked out that there is a way you can get Mew in the game, basically by avoiding speaking to one guy, like looping back around, there was crazy stuff you had to do. 
And then you went to the missing no bit on Cinnabar Island and you can get a Mew. You can 100% get a Mew. Or maybe you just have to go into the grass. But either way, my squad in my Pokemon Red was literally all the starters and a Mew. So this guy is awesome. As you guys probably know, I really love Eevee in the evolutions and we have a few of them already. So we have an Eevee, we have obviously a Jolteon and we have an Umbreon. I think we also have an Espeon plushie as well. And today, well, not today. And when we were in New York, we added some more to our collection. So there was a few evolutions on show. We picked these two to get basically because I think Vaporeon, outside of Jolts, obviously, has the coolest design. Like he's just a really, really nice looking Pokemon. And also the plushie is really nicely made and he just looks super, super cool. And then we also picked like the fan favorite Flareon. I think these shouldn't be quite so yellow. I think they should be a little bit like more whiter or creamer. But he's still such a cute looking Pokemon with a really little sweet face. So our Evolution collection is looking pretty good. Obviously Ali is a huge Gengar fan and we've already got a Gengar plushie but now we also have a mega Gengar plushie. So this was another one that was out there for like the 20 years of Pokemon. And again, super cool looking. Even ha this bit on his head is even like hard and feels different. Just like a really nice little plushie. So then another one we got just because it's a super cool Pokemon and also the plushie was really nice is our canine. He is obviously an awesome Pokemon and this is so soft and fluffy. I don't think his face looks mean enough though. I think he should look a little bit, a little bit more mud. But again, a really nice little plushie to add to the collection. And then finally, when I played Soul Silver, I sat in the casino and literally just grinded that stupid Voltar flip game until I could afford a Dratini. I was like, I finally got a Dratini. Loved my little Dratini. And I also loved it when it was a Dragonair. So I got this awesome Dragonair plushie to celebrate how awesome that Pokemon was for me in Soul Silver. And what's cool is his tail kind of like bends and sort of stays. So you, we could be able to shape it when it's on the desk. But it's not what it's not what you'd expect as like a plushie. You wouldn't expect to get one of these guys. So I'm glad we got this. My Dragonair evolved into Dragonite and for whatever reason was just garbage from then onwards. Like his stats were just like he honestly, I don't know, something went wrong when I evolved that Pokemon and he was rubbish against the Elite Four and I had such high hopes for him and I'd grinded him out for so much of the game, but still we did get a Dragonite plushie because Ali's was actually really awesome and I was really jealous. So train mine well. Hey! So I have like a huge pile of Pokemon plushies at the side of me now. And what's that? There's only one Pokemon plushie left. Now there was only two of these in the whole store. We went the first day and we were like, oh my gosh. Well, Ali was like, I want this Pikachu so, so much. But I, we, we couldn't get it back on the plane. We went back and asked the guys at YouTube and they were like, well, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll ship it back to you. That's fine. So the day that we were flying, we drove from like downtown like New York all the way back up to Midtown just to go to the Pokemon, just to go, just to go to the Nintendo store so we could get this Pikachu and then we were like walked around New York with this huge, huge Pikachu. But it is awesome, it is awesome. I'm gonna grab it. So this is our Pikachu plushie. Look how big it is, like, let me roll back a little bit. This Pikachu is huge. This is bigger than any in-game Pikachu would be. But he's so cuddly. He's literally so cute. But this is like our like best plushie of all now. I don't know where we're gonna put it, but it definitely needs a good place in our new surf room. So guys, that was our Nintendo store, New York, Pokemon haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what your favorite plushie is of all the plushies I've shown you guys and let me know why it's Pikachu. If you guys have a Pokemon plushie collection, please tweet me them at Claire Siobhan. I wanna see your Pokemon plushies as well. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. And it's bye from me and Pikachu.